Hello Aquarius, I hope you're doing awesome today. Thank you for being here. Let's get right to your reading. Aquarius, if you are here, which obviously you are, you're meant to be. So let's find out why. Aquarius, I missed you guys. Also, thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. That's that's freaking awesome to me. So thank you. I truly do appreciate it. Like each and every one of you, I love you. Thank you. So yeah, let's get right into your reading. Who am I connecting with today? Aquarius, so right. Okay, the cards are not wanting to cooperate. <laughs> so, first card. We have Revive. Okay, what else do we have? We have the Hermit Virgo energy. And we have Distance. Okay, so a little self-reflection possibly. We have the Six of Cups. What's under that? We have the Ten of Pentacles. So I kind of... I'm getting a vibe of, you know, whoever I'm connecting with right now. It's like you're reflecting on your past. You're distancing yourself from someone or something. And I think it's needed. I think your soul is kind of calling you to do that right now. Because there's something in you that needs to be, well, revived, all right? There's something in you that needs to be healed. And I think, you know, the advice right now, the message right now is to keep your distance from something or someone. Maybe you need to look at a situation from a different angle. Because something I'm looking at here with this distance card, notice how it's a, a woman looking down at the earth. It's like maybe there's a need to look at the bigger picture in some way. Okay, so let's see what that might be. Because with that revive card, I'm kind of getting a feeling of like, it's almost like a light bulb going off. I don't know how well my camera is picking this up, but there's a person on like a mountaintop and there's this like aura, like glowing, radiating out of them. It's like almost, like I said, a light bulb going off. And even looking at this hermit card, notice how there's a moon up here at the top, right above this person, this silhouette. Again, kind of like a light bulb going off. So, you know, maybe you're kind of struggling in some kind of situation, relationship, whatever the case might be. And you're just kind of like, well, how am I going to make this work? Where do I go from here? The advice right now is to take some, take a step back, look at the bigger picture, look at different perspectives. And that's where you're going to find your answer. Okay. So well, let's get a li little more details here for you, Aquarius. What is going on? Okay, so first card, we have the King of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign. Also, don't mind the gender. <laughs> um, but this could also be about you leveling out some kind of emotion when it comes to something. Because I feel like whatever situation you've been dealing with has kind of like made you a little uneasy uh emotionally on i don't want to say emotionally unstable but <laughs> that sounds a little weird but i don't know if it's quite that it's just it's made you feel like i'll say emotional roller coaster you, f you feel like you're kind of all over the place emotionally and it's hard to make a decision it's hard to know what to do when you're kind of in that like panic mode that anxiety you know what i'm saying so again whatever you're dealing with whoever i'm connecting with today this message is strong to take a step back let these waves smooth out. I mean, it, there's waves here at the on the Hermit card as well. Let the waves, you know, slow down, calm the waves, get back in touch with yourself, maybe even meditate, you know, looking at the distance card. She's like in a meditative kind of pose, right? Ground yourself. For those of you who might live near water or the ocean, there's a need to like take your shoes off, walk on the beach, put your feet in the sand, even in the water maybe. You know, that's for somebody. There's some kind of like grounding kind of thing, getting connected with the water. Okay. That's something for somebody. Just some kind of cleansing, like some kind of energetic cleansing. I know there's like spiritual baths and shit that you can do. I mean, I don't, I don't, I, I'm not the one to tell you how to do that because I don't do it. <laughs> but there, I know there is some kind of like process like that. So maybe for somebody here, there's a need to like maybe sage your energy, cleanse your energy in some way. Um, I don't know, that's for somebody, like I said. Anyway, what else? We have the Ace of Swords, collecting your thoughts. 
there's a decision you need to make here. And again, I don't know what this is. This could be anything, you know, whatever's resonating for you. And it's, I feel like whoever I'm connecting with, you haven't been able to make this decision. You've been feeling very panicky, a lot of anxiety here, you know, overthinking. We do have the seven of cups here at the bottom. And there's almost this urgency, like I need to make the decision now. And that's almost like making the anxiety worse. Whether, you know, it's a job thing, a romantic relationship thing, anything. But there's, again, you need to take a step back. You don't need to make a decision while in this kind of mindset, okay? While you're feeling this anxiety. That's just making it worse, okay? There's a need to look at the bigger picture. Step outside of yourself a little bit. Okay, and then we have the Emperor Aries energy. And we have the Ten of Wands as a potential outcome. But the ten, number ten in numerology goes back to a number one. So the there is going to be an ending to this stress, this heaviness. But it's only going to come if you take this time out. Because again, whoever I'm connecting with, you need to take some kind of time out or you're going to... This is going to boil over in some way. And with the emperor, I'm just getting like somebody who's trying so hard to like to on the surface look like the emperor, like they they have their shit together, everything's fine. But deep down, there's like this emotional roller coaster going on, this burden, this heaviness. You don't know what to do, you don't know where to go. And this could even be for somebody like a life purpose thing. It's like, well, what the hell? Like you're, there's like all of this emotion, this frustration inside. It's like, okay, so why am I even here? <laughs> like, why, what am I supposed to be doing with my life? And then going through the daily motions, you know, with that, that emperor mask on, everything's fine. But deep down you're fucking screaming. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even in that instance, there needs to be a, a step back. There needs to be some kind of getting in touch with yourself. You know, this, the hermit here. Getting in touch with your soul, yourself. Because your secret here is to go within. <laughs> to revive that little something in you. That, that part of you that makes you unique. That part of you that makes you, you. That gives you that purpose as to why you're here. Or where you should go from here. What decision should I make in this situation? Whatever the case might be whether it's small or huge, like your life purpose. It all starts with you going within. And I know that it's probably the worst thing you want to hear right now, especially if you're feeling super anxious and like panicky and you just want to get away from yourself. <laughs> but I'm telling you, you got to push through that. <sighs> Which I think for somebody here, that grounding yourself in some way, meditating, yeah, at first it's going to suck because you're going to have all these racing thoughts and things. But that's where, you know, taking that step back, uh, back, kind of, you know, stepping outside of yourself, observe those thoughts. Don't let them get an emotional rise out of you. Especially if, you know, you're frustrated o over like, you know, what's my purpose here? What should I do in this situation? Should I choose this? Should I choose that? And that like gets an emotional response that gets you stressed out. So tr like again, try stepping outside of yourself and like observing those thoughts. <sighs> Calm yourself. And I don't want to say like meditate and like completely blank your mind because who can actually do that? Like, I, <laughs> you know, it's just it's a matter of like learning to observe those thoughts instead. Okay. But there's definitely some kind of timeout that needs to be taking place here. And I think, you know, the universe, your higher self, your spirit guides, whoever, they really need you to do this right now. You know, especially for whoever's resonating, who's ever, whoever's feeling frustrated, especially when it comes to your purpose. That's something that keeps coming to mind. Your purpose. What is it? Why am I here? That's a frust. This is something that's like, I can feel that tension, okay? Whoever's resonating with that, like whoever I'm connecting with, there's this frustration like in your chest. And almost this like feeling of like being fed up with life <laughs> and you know don't you know we're all human we all have, go through those phases uh there's nothing wrong with you <laughs> you do have a purpose 
but only you can figure that out, okay? And it is going to take, you know, pushing through that frustration, looking within, especially if that's the last thing you want to do because you're sick of yourself. I, for some reason, that's something that keeps coming to mind. I'm so sick of myself. I'm so sick of this, these feelings. I just want to escape them. I want to run away. That's not the answer. The, the answer is to run toward that, okay? And I know that's probably not what you want to hear. It's, it sucks having to deal with some of these emotions, having to look at yourself, like really look at yourself and who you really are and like admitting to yourself who you really are you know that can be hard especially with society if you if you um uh feel like you have to fit some mold to fit in like with your family society or whatever but your heart is like well i want to do something completely different it can be hard to admit to yourself that you know you want to do something completely different and to actually go for it but somebody here it's like you need to figure that out and you know I can't give you the exact answer here especially in a, a general reading I mean I could try help maybe point you in the right direction in a, in a personal reading you can email me at banana chips tarot at protonmail.com it's also in the description box you know for anybody who might need that little extra help but obviously here I can't pinpoint that exactly <laughs> but there you know the general message here is I'm connecting to somebody who's just very frustrated and I want to say just with life in general, with, you know, feeling lost, just very lost. But you need to take that step back. You need to reconnect with yourself. You've been avoiding yourself for a little too long, okay? So let's go through, clarify some of these. Why is the King of Cups here? We have the Five of Cups. Yeah, lots of turmoil kind of feeling. We have the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Seven of Swords. So, you know, for whoever I'm connecting with here, it looks like the start of this emotional roller coaster could have something to do with some kind of heartbreak, some kind of betrayal that's kind of... With that Wheel of Fortune, it's like it kind of changed your view on life <laughs> on people on yourself even like you know maybe even feeling down on yourself for trusting somebody in the first place and that wheel of fortune it's like it's changed your outlook but in a a negative kind of way and i think there's a message here of you know you know i know it's hard i know it sucks but there's a need to you know flip that and it's okay to go through those phases we all do we're all human it's okay to hate life sometimes but, you know, don't bottle it up. Don't run from it. Don't run from those negative feelings. Because, again, there is this kind of avoidance feeling here, whoever I'm connecting with. There's this feeling of trying to run away from yourself in some way. Possibly by, like, overworking, you know, overexercising. Like, you know, just some kind of, like, obsessive habit like that. That's something I'm picking up for somebody. Like, And, again, I'm, I'm not judging or anything like that. I'm absolutely not preaching or telling you what to do. Um, you know, just picking up the energy, okay? But there is this feeling of like running away from yourself. And not trusting yourself. And feel, just feeling really down on yourself. Like whoever I'm connecting with, I feel like, again, that going back to what I said, just feeling sick of yourself, tired of yourself. And it's almost like the, this self-blame of you know whoever hurt you in the past or whatever hurt you in the past it's almost like you're blaming yourself and you know again we, we've all been there it's okay but at the same time <laughs> try not to do that <laughs> i know it's easier said than done but there's this forgiveness of self that needs to kind of happen here and i think that could also be part of the healing process here this this feeling of needing to go within just to he forgive yourself Okay, and I think it kind of starts with that, forgiving yourself. That's big for somebody here, okay. I want to look at this emperor. We have the ten of swords. Again, this kind of betrayal, this pain. It's like you're putting on an emperor face, you know, male or female. This, you know, everything's in control, I'm good. But on the inside, it's this... Ten of Swords, this pain, this 
turmoil, turmoil keeps coming to mind. And we have the King of Wands, fire sign energy, rage, anger. That's the first thing that's coming to mind with that. A lot of just anger, anger at self, anger at the world, feeling lost. And we have the Five of Swords, defeated. I almost said defeated with that Ten of Swords, too. Let's look at that Ten of Wands. We have the Seven of Wands. And we have the Page of Swords. What else? And we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Okay, and we have judgment here at the bottom. I kept looking at that. And I'm like, I don't know if this is relevant or not, but you know, I think it might be. There's this feeling of like not giving up, you know, with that seven of wands, page of swords, the hierophant. There's something bigger here. I'm definitely getting like dark night of the soul kind of vibes here. Like maybe one of you or whoever's connecting with this feels like you're kind of going through a dark night of the soul so there is this like deep spiritual like transformation that's trying to happen here that is happening here um and it may seem really hard right now it may seem very dark right now but it's all part of your spiritual growth it's all going to revive that certain something in you that makes you different from everybody else. That leads you to your purpose, that you know makes you feel like you have a purpose. It's all leading you to that, to that breaking point, that like realization, that epiphany. It's always darkest before the dawn, right? But you're only gonna see that dawn, that light, if you Connect with yourself, forgive yourself, take a time out, push through those dark thoughts, okay, those stressful thoughts, push through that feeling of like avoiding yourself, because I'm telling, I keep, this is something I keep getting, whoever I'm connecting with, you've been avoiding yourself, there's something about yourself that you've been avoiding, and it's, it comes from like, some kind of anger toward yourself, this need to forgive yourself for something. You know, whatever that is for you, there's this need to forgive yourself. It starts there, okay? Forgiving yourself, loving yourself, and taking this time out grounding yourself, getting out in nature near water. That's something that keeps coming to mind. There's some kind of like energetic baptism. I don't I don't know why I want to say baptism. I mean, it doesn't have to be religious, you know, but there's just some kind of like renewing that needs to happen here. And I think it has something to do with nature, with, you know, again, if you live near the ocean for somebody here, go swim in the ocean or, you know, there's something about the ocean. I don't know why that keeps coming to mind for somebody. Um, and I'm not saying like, if you don't live near the ocean that you need to go like <laughs> spend money to go travel to the ocean, unless you're feeling like you really need to do that. But, um, but there's some kind of like energetic cleansing in this message too. And it could even just come from, you know, you forgiving yourself, you know, meditating, like cleansing your energy with like self-love. I know that sounds kind of cheesy, but, <laughs> but that's kind of what I'm getting. There's a lot of healing that's trying to happen here and that will happen, but it starts with you looking within, not running anymore, not running from yourself because that's just like delaying this like self-discovery because there is some kind of self-discovery in this process okay this discovery of your like purpose you know discovery of like this you know what decision should i make from here you know because again for some of you it could just be a simple decision it's like should i should i wear red today or green today i don't know it's probably not that silly but <laughs> or it could be you know what's my life purpose i don't know why i'm here and the, there's this frustration that just keeps building up building up building up but I know it's easier said than done, but there's this feeling of stop running from that. Stop looking for answers outside of yourself to like soothe that feeling because it starts in here, inside of you, okay? 
And with the Hierophant, I just keep picturing like, god or the universe or whatever just looking at you just waiting for you to do this it's like it's okay aquarius it's okay i'm waiting <laughs> and it's almost this feeling of like celebration like once you finally like do it like once you finally stop running okay so that is your reading today aquarius if that resonated or if you just enjoyed the reading like and subscribe Leave some banana emojis in the comments below. I got, I switched that up. Usually I say the banana emojis first. <laughs> but it's been a few days. I, I haven't been here for a few days, so I'm a, I'm a little out of touch, I guess. But yeah, if you like the reading, if it resonated, leave some banana emojis in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.